This is number five in a series of 25 videos on identity. Who am I in Christ? Today is the D, and D stands for dream, because our dreams are such a big part of our identities. Have you ever blown bubbles that is taken up into the air by the wind and then burst sooner than you would have wished? Maybe you were laying on the grass looking at the clouds taking on shapes you can recognize, a human face, an animal object, but then soon it changes into another shape. Bubbles and clouds are like ideas in your head. You think about something, then decide whether it's a fading dream that will vanish or maybe something that can come true. Can you tell what your biggest dream or desire is? Do you dream about places you will visit or travel to? Do you know what you want to become when you are grown up? Maybe you have already imagined what your future house, your future wife or husband will be like one day. Maybe you have a dream of being a champion in horse riding or in sport or in music. Most fishermen dream about the big fish they are going to catch one day. Some practice their music and dream about performing on stage in front of thousands of people. These are all ideas that can come to pass as you imagined it or not. Did you know that not only you, not only your parents, but that God actually has a dream over your life, not a bubble or cloud dream that is vanishing, but a real plan that he wants to accomplish? Part of God's plan for the earth is that all people should be saved and turn back to him. So many people had never even heard about Jesus and serve and worship idols. God uses ordinary people like you and me to help to fulfill his plan. Jonah was a man in the Bible who was chosen to tell the ungodly people of the city of Nineveh about God. But he fled from this plan of God and took a boat to Tarsus instead. That ship was tossed by a storm on sea and Jonah insisted on being thrown out of the ship in order for the storm to calm down because he knew that his disobedience had caused this discomfort. He was then swallowed by a fish and stayed there for three days and three nights, and then he was spewed out again onto dry land. But God's plan did not change. He still wanted Jonah to preach to the city of Nineveh. This time Jonah obeyed, and a whole city repented and turned from idols to serve the living God. There are many stories in the Bible about people who understood and pursued God's dream. But there are many others who had the opportunity, but followed their own will and ideas, not listening to God's guidance. Maybe they needed a bit and a bridle. A bit is a specific piece of metal placed in the mouth of a horse, and then it's connected to the bridle by which a horse can be steered. Our hearts are by nature rebellious and self-willed and does not always want to go where God sends it. If I follow my own plan, I can miss God's plan for my life, but I can also miss God's plan for the world. Knowing and living God's dream for my life is definitely part of my identity. The person I will choose to marry, my subjects at school, my career choice, everything should be part of this dream. If you open your hand today, I would like to share five things with you about this dream. Firstly, God has a plan for everyone's life. His plan is different for each one. His plan is always good, the best, but not necessarily easy. Ask him to reveal to you his dream for your life. He promises in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, 
For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans of welfare and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Secondly, if you would like to know and understand God's plan, you have to be able to listen to his voice. He speaks in so many ways. The boy Samuel was only five years old when taken to the temple to help priest Eli. And then God spoke to him in a loud, audible voice. God promises in Psalm 32, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. In the third place, if you want to follow God's dream, you have to have an obedient, willing heart, or else you will not be able to follow where he leads. You must be able to be led without a bit and bridle. Jeremiah had been very young when God called him to be a prophet. I read that God said to Jeremiah, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. And then Jeremiah said, O oh Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak, for I am too young. God wants you to lay down your own plans and all your excuses and to learn obedience until God's dream becomes your dream. He actually warns you today about this bit and bridle. In Psalm 32 verse 9, he says, Do not be like a horse or a mule without understanding, which must be curbed with a bit and bridle, or it will not stay near you. If I want to know God's dream, I need wisdom in the fourth place. Every day of my life, I need to know how to walk in his plan. All choices I make will have an influence on this life goal and on my identity. What subjects, career, sports or extramural activities. All of them should be in line with my calling, my gifts and this dream. The last one, number five. Remember that God will equip you with all that is needed to complete this dream. His dream can never be too big or too small. It is perfect for you and it will be fulfilled in his perfect time. God has called Jeremiah, but he also said, Do not say I am a youth. For to all to whom I send you, you shall go, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. And then the Lord put his hand and touched the mouth of Jeremiah. And he said to him, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Now I want you to put all five fingers together. Close your hand. Keep it tight. Do not ever let the devil steal or destroy your dream. He will try anything to distract you from God's plan or to deceive you in order to keep you from fulfilling God's purpose for your life. Please keep on dreaming about your career or the big fish or sport or horse riding until they are accomplished. But do not forget that God had a dream for you even before you were born. And His plan is the real dream to pursue. I pray that at the end of your life, you will not say it was all in vain, but that you will be able to say, I have heard God's voice clearly. I have followed his dream for my life and pursued his purpose. May God bless you.